Um, <coughs> my presentation is really um, just three points to make around advertiser demand and advertiser experience. So I'm going to answer any of the questions that, that come up later with the, the context of uh, the importance of um, digital in the context of you know, creating things and doing things that inherently are driven by uh, advertiser demand uh, first rather than you know, just something that you know, we think is a good idea. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about this uh, fantastic art exhibition in, uh, in West Brom. Um, I'm going to talk about um, the nature of uh, the medium, um, out of home, digital out of home, and I know there's going to be lots of questions and I'll have touches on you know, mobile out of home and, and uh, location based stuff. And my third point is around um, uh, the technology and you know where that sits in the pecking order, particularly as regards uh, the, uh, the creative communities. Um, so we've got these sort of three three pillars really that are very very important to uh, Ocean and I believe should be important to anybody that uh, in the sector. Um, the first one I think is a classic example of somebody having a brilliant idea uh, to spend a huge amount of cash in a particular location because they thought if we build this they will come. Um, they spent 80 million pounds of lottery money uh, putting a Tate exhibition slap bang in the middle of West Brom um, and it closed. Uh, I think uh, on Monday uh, it was closed down because there was absolutely no demand whatsoever uh, for an art exhibition of this sca uh, scale and stature in West Bromwich. So my first point is to say, <coughs> whatever we do as an industry, whenever we're doing it, um, whether we are transforming traditional to digital, whether we've got um, ideas to uh, put digital in new places, virgin territories, new formats, etc., uh, it should always be based on the fact that there is some inherent advertiser demand and we're not just doing it because it fits the phrase or catchword or buzz of digital. Um, the second one, um, again, is close to our, close to our hearts because you know Ocean are not, uh, I suppose, a, a lot of businesses in the states. For example, we've got Amscreen here today. You know, we're not a, a place-based media operator. You know, our origins are from you know the premier section of out of home, and we've evolved into a digital business <coughs> over the last you know three to four years. So we always have what is it inherent about the nature of the out-of-home environment as a medium at the core of when we do something that is digital. I'll come back to that point in a minute. And of course, we're morphing uh, into digital out-of-home, which you all know and every, all the stakeholders in this room know what the uh, capabilities are of, of digital. Predominantly, it is about creating the opportunity uh, to, to build uh, 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 revenues, not necessarily that it happens automatically. And of course, we're moving into the mobile space. My key here is, is that I think we shouldn't get confused between the what is digital and actually how digital can work in the out of home environment. So to make that point I'd say you know we've all got a television in our front rooms, you take those television and put them on the high street, nobody would care about the television medium, you know, if we you know stuck it on the Cromwell Road. Okay? It would be a postage stamp. So people in television think about the context of their medium in the way it is going to be consumed. And that's very important going for uh, going forward for uh, out of home and digital out of homes, people start to drive demand based platforms, you know, perhaps more frequency of advertisers, the effective reach and coverage <coughs> and impact are never going to go away in the, in the out of home space um, because you're not talking to a stationary static audience, they're constantly on the move. Uh, so that's the second thing around uh, sort of <coughs> advertiser demand and keeping that at the forefront of all the work that we do. Uh, my third sort of uh, rally cry um, is um, this thing around the creative and the technology. Um, it's a great piece by uh, Stacey from JC Decole uh, that I read the other day on this actually. Um, and that, that is, um, there is no doubt um, that a lot of people in this room are creating some fantastic things, whether you're a media agency, whether you're putting the capital in as a media owner, you know, or indeed whether you're planning and buying it and have got entrepreneurial ideas if you're in the uh, specialist operating space. Uh, but a lot of the things that we are creating are way, way, way ahead of the people further up the food chain who have charged with you know, creating the actual content that is going to sit on these platforms and advertise you know, on our screens. The technology is way ahead of their, their thought process. As you know, we do the digital creative competition uh, every year. It'll be its fifth anniversary uh, next year. And the big theme this year from uh, all of those stakeholders, and we had five of the top ten uh, creative uh, directors in that room at that time, is they did not have a clue about half the things. Half would have been a result, actually probably 10% of the things that they can do you know, creatively with digital out of home as a media. So again, that third thing is, you know, before we go too far down the path as to how we're going to pull it all together, how it's going to move to uh, demand-led platforms, how we're going to mirror uh, what is happening in the other dig digital space, now let's not forget there are a lot of people further up the food chain 
that we are reliant on um, for the power of our medium and making our businesses that really don't know how to use um, uh, effectively uh, the stuff that we're creating by the capital that we're investing.